Ever wondered how the internal heat of the earth, otherwise known as geothermal, is processed into electricity? In this week's episode of The Process, a weekly news feature, we focus on geothermal power generation. We are here at the Kenjan Geothermal Generation Plant in Naivasha to get to witness the process of geothermal power production. We are taken to the steam fields, the actual source of geothermal power. Uh, once then, of course, the geoscientific steam has identified the area. Um, you know, the infrastructure comes in uh, to do the well sites and also the access roads. Now, once that has happened, then that site is transferred to another department called uh, Drilling and Logistics. Now, Drilling and Logistics are responsible for drilling of the well. The team goes to the field, then we collect data, and that data is what is used to site the wells. A suitable site uh, for us to be able to drill that well. The process of geothermal power making begins here. The steam comes from the steam fields through steam inlets on either side of the plant to allow the steam to flow more efficiently into the turbine. And the turbine is laid such that you can be able to uh, ensure the steam flows from two sides so that it is very efficient. It expands very efficient from the first stage to the last stage. The steam enters the power plant and goes through a separator that separates the water and the steam and ensures that no water gets into the turbine. Once the steam is uh, at the plant, then we will uh, take it through a steam scrubber and the objective is to remove any water that has remained or that has come with the steam. The steam must be 99.99 dry to be able to operate the turbine in a safe way. The dry steam enters the plant and rotates the turbines at 3,000 evolutions per minute. Once the turbine rotor rotates, it also automatically rotates the generator because the generator rotor is within the electromagnetic field. Electricity is then generated. And once the generation or the turbine rotor rotates, then it rotates the generator rotor. The electricity is generated at 11,000 volts and later to 22,000 volts to be able to be transmitted to other areas. Once power is generated, it is transported from the generator through giant cables that are inside a protective cable casing that protects the cables from interference or accidents and carry the power cables from the generator to the transformers. We then go to the control room. So from here we can see the whole plant overview. Once the steam or the condensate has been used to turn the turbine, it is exhausted into the cooling tower basin and condensed back to water. So this is the final stage of the process. After the steam has been converted to electricity, transported through the electricity power grids, and then the steam comes in through the condenser into this cooling tower at 105 degrees Celsius. It is cooled to 23 degrees Celsius. It is then re-injected into the re-injection tank where the process begins all over again. Nisi Manokoth for the process.